And now we are going to talk about hydraulic circuits and we are going to create one hydraulic circuit. We are going to imagine one cylinder, one ram, the typical ram, like this. And uh, we are going to, to move it, this ram, in this direction yeah, or this direction. We need a, a pump to move it the fluid and uh, we need a reservoir to keep the, the fluid Close. in a container. And uh, you need a selector of valves to move it the fluid in this direction or this direction. Anybody follow me? Okay, this is the schematic of uh, the sequential valves. Is this, it's an element with three compartments. The first compartment is, com is neutral, is neutral. The second compartment is like this. When I put this one, it, this is the reservoir, and this one in the reservoir. And here, I am going to locate my motor, my electric motor, and the pump, the centrifugal pump. This one, guys, this one. This is a typical pump. I have the motor, AC or DC, and I have the pump. Where is the suction and where is the discharge in this pump? Suction here and discharge here at high pressure. Everybody follow me? Suction here and discharge here. Why here is the output? Because you see, you remember the turbo in this one? The air, the, the air filter is here, compress the fluid and send the fluid compressed here. You see the shape of this? This is the housing and inside you have the impeller. You remember? Yes. Okay. And this is the pump. This is the motor, this is the pump, and uh, here we are going to locate the reservoir. the reservoir, the container, with the fluid, with the fluid. And here will be the suction, the input. And this is the discharge. And the discharge enter here, enter here, and return here and return here. And for gravity, the fluid return over there. Anybody follow me, guys? The fluid is going here. The fluid is going here. And this is neutral, and the fluid return over there. Yep, in this position. Okay, what happened if I move it this element, and now this this position is located here. Let me connect this one here and this one over there. Pay attention, my friends. In this moment, the fluid enter here and return here. And what happened with the cylinder? It's moving? It's not moving because the fluid no enter here or no enter here. The fluid enter here and return. This is neutral. What happens if I locate the selector valve in this position, here. Ah, look, the fluid entered here, puts the, the cylinder here, and is moving like this. And this one is, this one is, this one is, the return. Everybody follow me? What happens if I put this position in the middle? The fluid entered here, press the cylinder over there, and this one is the return. Ah, what is the name of that element? The control valve. valve. I can move it, this one, with a handle. Mm -hmm. Like this. That's the cylinder, and I can move it one position, other position. One, look at this, and this element is? It, this is manual. This is manual. Or I can change the selector valve here the manual with solenoid. And this one is negative and, and positive. And this one is negative and the other positive. Oh, I, I can install here and here a push button, push button. Ah, one push button for up and other push button for down. 
Ah, you remember in the anchor in your boat, you have two push buttons, foot pedals. You remember? One for up and other for down. And additionally, in the console, you have two push buttons, up and down, to activate this solenoid and this solenoid. Oh, wow. Ah, this is a servo valve with solenoids. With solenoids. Ah, can I have one of these, Mr. Lopez, with solenoids and additionally with handle? Yes. You have solenoids and additional handle. It, in some case, in the console, the solenoid not respond. You call your engineer, hey, my friend, the anchor goes down, but not up. And the guy go over there and, okay, thank you, it's up. We need to check the solenoids. In other words, any hydraulic system required. Number one, fluid. Number two, a container, reservoir. Number three, the solenoid valve and the pump with motor, the power source, and of course the lines. Five elements. Once again, fluid, lines, pump and motor, reservoir, and sequential valve or solenoid valves or body of valves. That's it. Five elements. Repeat. Fluid. Lines, reservoir, motor and pump, uh, solenoid valves. 